Welcome to Rootstem Gaming and in today's game we're going to be doing a 175 point apocalypse. Um, we've already rolled up the missions for us, this is a 8 foot by 6 foot gaming table, our club has quite a very large table and we've drawn up Hammer and Anvil. So I'm playing against Grange, playing against his guard, we've got this bit here which is where Grange is going to be deploying. And this bit here is where my elder force is going to be deploying. And then um, the mission is War of Attrition. We've already rolled for that already. That basically just means that we've got to kill each other's units. So whoever scores the more unit kills in a turn scores a single victory point. The, if you've actually looked at Apocalypse, the missions are not that complicated. It's simply if you achieve something quite high, then you will get a point. And then by the time it gets to turn three or four, you can kind of clearly see who's probably going to be winning. Right, let's take you to some forces. Right, we've got Grange on the channel again. Yay, Grange, yay. And then you've got reprobates over there. Yay, reprobates, yay. Uh, your camera's yeah. sitting on wave right now. <laughs> you've got it on, like, selfie pictures. I have, mate, yeah, I've got it selfie pictures. Right, just explain to us what you're taking in this apocalypse game, sir. Uh, lots of guard. Lots of guard. Just four detachments. He's playing the non-cheese list. <laughs> That's my first one. So, company commander, three heavy weapon squads, Manticore, Wyvern. Yep. Next detachment, tank commander in the middle. Yep. Punisher. The Punisher, yep. yep. Uh, five then, yep. Lehman Russell's around him, so mixture of demolishy cannons, Punishers, executioners, and battle cannons. Awesome source. Uh, next attachment, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all the infantry. The all command. the infantry. Yeah, all, all the infantry. All last cannons except one, which is not all cannon. Yeah. Yep. And then final it's attachment, yeah, it commanded it. Yeah. Uh, we've got three sets of ball guns. Yeah. Three ball gun malls, the other's a brute with the slab shields, two minister and priests, and then three chimeras. There you go. That's quick and easy to describe because you haven't really got to describe much in a pop clips. No, you just no, stack a unit, it's that got this weapon, that's it. So this is the 175 Elder Force. Again, I've got four detachments. I've got a Cobra, super heavy, which doesn't really see the field that often. But we're just going to see what's going to happen with a big tank in this one. We've got this detachment here. Two units of Dark Reapers. I know there's one missing from that, but it's broken. And then we've got three units of Guardians with a heavy weapon team. They're led by a Farseer. We've got another detachment here, which has got Jane Zar, uh, Jane Zar sorry, and Karandras. Jane Zar's custom. And then we've got a unit of 10 Banshees, 5 Scorpions, 5 uh, Fire Dragons, and then 3 Tanks. So the two, we've got 2 Wave Serpents, Bright Lance, Rocket, and then we've got a Falcon in the back. And then the fourth detachment is Azraman. He is the main Warlord. He can only be targeted if he is the closest model, because that's his Warlord trait. Grange did roll a Warlord trait for Yarrick, and that's based on you know, his Tank Commander. He's his main War Master. His tank commander can plus one to wounding rolls. That might prove quite interesting. Two units of ten, one unit of five Dar Avengers, and then again, two wave serpents and a falcon. That's it. So hammer and anvil, deployment, and then we'll get cracking. Let's take you to it. Right, so we're all deployed. Uh, my super heavy's down this side. We've got my infantry up there. Um, in the game, if you want to get into buildings, you've got to mount up as if you're actually mounting up a, a transport. It's a bit of an odd thing. I don't really want to go into too many rules, so I'm hoping people know the rules, or are watching this know the rules anyway. Uh, but I will explain certain things. So, unit three here, unit three there, infantry, and super heavy. And then, <laughs> I come across this lot. Tank City. <laughs> and manpower. Yeah, Hammer and Anvil's going to really work on this. You have to be 18 inches away from each other on Hammer and Anvil, so we're not really... I think the reason they've done that is certain units, if a double move, like I was versing a lad who asked Chris the other day just to test out the game, and his basic units had a movement of 15 because they were playing with some Slanesh Seekers, so if he double moved... It was a move of 30. So it could pretty much, if it was 24 inches away from each other, it could pretty much get a turn one charge. Right, so to start the game with, we both roll a d12. Whoever gets highest gets priority. Just one. So I've got a seven. 
Granger's got an 11. Now, in turn two, if we draw that result, I would get priority. So what would happen now is we place reinforcements. We haven't got any reinforcements because we're not that type of armies. Um, Colton that would do. And they would deep strike in like at any other sort of unit nine inches away. We then draw our pop cards, which we'll do in a moment. And then we start playing the game. Right. And we start putting orders down. So we'll crack on. We'll get the orders. We're going to hide the orders. The rule says you're supposed to put them down, then reveal them. We're just going to keep them hidden until we activate the unit. Because I'll be honest with you, it creates a better game. Right. i still got my tape measure. I'm going to have to take that off. Let's draw some cards. Right. So all the counters are down, we've got our cards, I'm not going to show you the cards, we'll let uh, those get revealed to you during the game. And so, Grange won the priority, so you get to pick a detachment to go with, sir. Reveal what their order is, and then enact the order. I'll start over here. You're going to start over there? And it's that one. Just a standard move order, righty over, sir. Now, a lot of those units are within six of that building, so I'm guessing they're going to mount they're up. basically mounting up into this building. No here. problem. Right, so he's mounted up into the actual block. Uh, we've got a hell of a lot of last cannons up here. The auto cannon team didn't man manage to make it into the building. These guys are in the building. So if I tr if they measure the ranges now from the edges of here, he's measured. He's not within 24 of any of my units at the moment. When I shoot him, I measure to the building. And then I pick units that I'm shooting at. Um, so that it can be a bonus, it can be a det detriment. So... I'm guessing these last cannons are all going to fire <laughs> at that. Yes, they are, Fran. Now, in the game, so you take it from... So it's line of sight, so it will be obscured, so it will be a minus one to hit. So, are you firing all the last cannons together? Oh. That was a yes. Yeah. So, there's one, two, three, four, five last cannons. Mm -hmm. You need fives because I'm, I'm obscured at minus one. Oh, wow. That's four. <laughs> So that'll be four D10s needing five, four D12s needing five up. So that's three. So that would cause one large and one small blast marker on that unit. That's gone. Right, so it will now be my turn. So this unit has just done a standard advance. It's moved forward. And now we're going to open fire. So the Falcon, we're going to open fire at that chimera there so the falcon sorry about the wobble has got two shots with its um pulse laser so i've moved forward he's not is he obscured yeah he will be so he's obscured so it's a minus one so i need fours i got both so the pulse laser needs a five against vehicles and I got a seven and a nine, so that'll be one large blast on it so far. And then I've got a star cannon, and the star cannon is just one shot. It's hit, and that needs a six. That's not done anything. So moving on to the next tank. Shuriken catapults are not going to be in range, but the rocket will be. And the rocket is two shots, same tank. I got one hit, and this needs a seven. I didn't score a wound. And then a Bright Lance, plus a Shuriken Cannon. So that Shuriken Cannon first, one shot. It doesn't hit. Oh no, from there, it's going to be a straight shot. So it will actually hit hit with that one. That is Shuriken Cannon. Yeah, that's a wound, actually. So, so far, you've suffered, is it three hits? Three. Three, so that'll be two large. And then the Bright Lance, both hit. Bright Lances need fives. One, so that would be two large and a small blast on that guy. Right, Granger's moved. We're going to see if that tanks can get over this. Granger's up, moved up. His units hurtled forward, twelve inches, and now going to open fire. The flamers, unfortunately, not in range. But his heavy stub is opening up into this guy here, so he needs a four to hit. Yep, yeah. yeah, but he does need a ten to damage me. Oh, we got an eleven. <laughs> so a small blast. Goes on that uh, tank. Right, now he's got three heavy bolters. They're all going into the same tank. Lean fours. Ooh, Nothing. that's a miss. Uh, Multi-laser. Oh, one. also misses. Have you got any lads going to raise on there as well, sir? Um, yes. Because you've got units inside, haven't you? Yes. Right, so we're firing the lads weapons now. 
that's all one of them is in rapid fire so it's going to be four shots in total from all all the units only one hit green's doing well with his dice so far and a nine does that hurt me sir no i needed a ten needed a ten right okay so just one small blast so far on my tank right next units right this detachment has got a double action so it's moved forward two movements move forward 14 inches and i'm gonna play my card smite which is a psychic power so i've got to use it from a psychic unit that's the only psychic unit i've got so it's within 36 and then it hits the closest enemy so that's going to be basically a unit in that building so pick any unit in fact pick the closest unit to me it doesn't really matter them there them there so i roll a d12 and consult the chart so i rolled an 11 and that means it's going to be two blasts so it'll be a large blast marker on the selected unit from the smite and that's all i can do with that unit because there's not, nothing elder can double move and use the small arms but we're not going to have a chance to do so because of course there's nothing within 12. so now it's going to be granger's turn granger's activated this formation he's got the shooting action so the mortars are going to up and over into the closest guardian squad So what do you need? What? How many shots does each, each mortar stand get? Turn off the camera. I need to ask questions. Yep. So three mortars up and over. What do you need to hit? Three, sir. Uh, normally fours. Yep. Because I've stood still with that order. It's three threes. to hit. So he hits once. What's your SAP? SAP of mortar is eight. Eight. That doesn't cause any damage. Are you going to do anything else? Rockets. Yes. Uh, same unit. Yep. Lot of missile launchers. No problem, so three shots because it's one per heavy weapon. And then he gets all three hits. All three hits. It does need seven though with the rockets. So three D12s. And you need sevens. Right, so two, so that will be a large blast on that unit. I'll be able to reach that. So another three rocket launchers are going to hit the same unit. Another two hits. Three, so, I've stood still. Oh, yeah, three hits. So another three D12s, needing sevens. Just the one. Just the one. So that'll be a large and a small blast. Right, we're going to go with Manticore. Now, Manticore's armed with four Storm Eagle rockets. There's no limits on what you can shoot. So he's going to fire all four rockets into a Cobra. And the two attacks apiece. Needing freeze to hit. Oh, a couple of misses. That's good for me. So that's you can, you can roll them closer to yourself, you know. I know no. you to stretch across. So that's one, two, three, four, five hits. So that's five D12. Now, what do you need against SAT? Sixes. Sixes. So that's, so that's too large. Uh, unless he's got Destroyer or any other special skills? Uh, no, just Barrage. Just Barrage. That means he can fire at targets he can't see. Two large blasts then. I'm going to go on to the Scorpion. And now we've got the Wyvern. Heavy Bolt is in range of the damaged Guardian squad. So he's going to fire that, needing a free, because there's no obscuring. His hits. And then what do you need, sir? Sevens. Sevens. No. And then the Wyvern Big Barrage is going against the Dark Reapers that are behind them. So four shots. Four shots then, sir. Two hits. Two hits. What do you need with Wyvern? Sevens. Sevens. Ooh, a large blast on the Dark Reaper. I don't think I'm going to have any units left here. Right, I was about to go with this detachment because it was my turn. Grange has played, seize the initiative. Allows him to go with one of his detachments before I can play with mine. There's only one detachment left, which is the tanks. Yes. So they're going. Yeah, they're off. <laughs> they're off. And what order have you got? Guessing just a general advance. Right. So he's rolled forward with these tanks. First tank's going to open fire at the closest uh, with a Punisher cannon. It's going to open fire at the closest uh, infantry squad. You can't fire twice with the unit because, of course, it's moved. Moved up to moves its full 10, but it does get six shots with the Punisher. Needing, is that your command tank as no, well? That one? Not at the minute. This no, that's a standard one, so yeah. it needs fours. That's four, four hits. hits. Four D12s, what do you need on the D12s? We'll figure that out in a second. Alright, no pops. <laughs> uh, sevens. So you got one. So you'll increase that to two large blasts. Second Punisher is going into the Dark Reapers. That's going to be another six shots. This is from the command one, isn't it? Yep. And that's going to need freeze. Ooh, only two. 
What about the need again? Sevens, you say? So, a large blast on the Reapers. Right, so now he's going to do the two front last cannons. They're going to go into the middle tank. He's going to need four on one, three on the other, and it's fives to damage. Right, so, fours. So, well, first one needing four, yep. Yeah. That's a hit. The second one needing three. That's also a hit. So, two dice. Now need fives against tank, the last cannons. And a large blast marker on that unit. So the multi melters from both tanks are going to go into this one here. So the one that needs fours to hit first is one hit. The one that needs threes is hit. So that's three die, three d twelves. What do you need, sir? Uh, multi melter is four against tanks. Wow. Yeah, four. So three dice, needing a four. Ooh, that's going to be a large and a small. So it's three damage, three blasts. It's going to be a large and a small on that vehicle there. Oh wow, taking some damage. Uh, then he's got another four tanks to go with. Right. So, the executioner then. Yep. Can't really see much barring thoughts over here. Yep. <laughs> There's uh, chairs there. So I'll put the executioner cannon yep. and the plasmas into the uninjured group of... Now, will be a minus one for obscuring. Right, yeah. And then uh, the last cannon, we'll go into the same unit, I'll put it all on. Alright, okay, the same. putting it all into them. So I know what the plasmas are. Are you, oh, are you overcharging with the plasmas? No. It is obscured. So. so you need, it's going to be three shots, because for some reason the turret is the same as the plasma cannons at the side. So three shots, uh, needing fives because of the units being obscured. You got one, and it needs a seven. No. no, and then the last cannon will uh, need a, yeah, it needs a five again, and this one needs a ten to be able to damage infantry. But they didn't get no hits. Yeah. And you've still got the standard one here. Uh, so this, oh, I'm gonna go with this one next. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna put everything into the back tank there. The wave serpent closest to me. That one. Yeah. That one there. Yeah. That one there. Right, yo. So he's got two heavy bolters then, sir. That's uh, so one shot a piece. Two heavy bolters, one yep. shot a piece. They need fours, I'm not obscured, that's two misses. Yep. Last cannon needs a four. No. Nope. No, and then the battle cannon, I think it's only one shot with it the battle is, cannon. Yes. It does it's, hit, what does it need? Needs a six. Needs a six against tanks. Oh, right, so that will turn that into two large blasts. So this guy side. is opening fire now. He's going to put everything into the middle of the tank. There's no obscuring. So are you just normal charge for the plasmas? Normal charge. Okay. Two hits. Need two shots. Need fours. Nope. No hits. You got a shot with a las cannon as well. That needs a. That's hit. That's going to need a five. It has its damage, so that will be two large now on that uh, unit. And then you got a battle cannon, sir. So another one more shot with another that. One more shot, and that missed. So that's going to be two large blasts. Militia, finally, he's going to fire his last cannon into one in the middle. He is obscured, so I need a five. No. No. Thank God for that. I'm taking some blasts here. I will put very little blast down on him. But I do have two formations left to go. I've got the scope, I've got the Cobra, which hasn't gone yet. And I've also got these guys down here, which is now, which I'm going to be going with since you seized the initiative. So, we're going to be going with this detachment here, so we've got the post laser and two shuriken cannons. They're going to go into the command tank, because I didn't like the fact that he's hitting on threes. Uh, you can shoot through your own unit, so I'm not obscured. So the two shuriken cannons, uh, I need a three to hit, and the shuriken cannon needs an eight to damage. Doesn't do anything. And then I've got a pulse laser, and that needs two shots, needing threes, two hits. Pulse laser needs fives. So that will be a large blast on your command tank so far, sir. And then I think the other one, the wave serpent there, is going to fire a shuriken cannon. He misses, and he's got his twin bright lance, which is two shots. Both of them to hit. Again, the bright lance against vehicles needs a five. And that will be another large blast on that tank. And then we've got a rocket. That's probably going to fire upon the other vehicle, the other Punisher that's closest. Uh, that's two shots with the rocket. Need to freeze. Yep. God, I've rolled that many sixes with them. It's unreal. And then I need sevens. So one small blast on that unit there with that. So I've not had a lot of shooting, 
But it's now time for Big Lad to join the fray. So the Cobra's rock forward. It can see this plasma one, which it's going to fire at with its D Impaler. Now its D Impaler is two shots, needs threes. Actually, no, it needs twos to hit. So the Impaler needs two to hit. Only one. It is a three plus on tanks. Yep, and it's destroyer, so it'll give a large blast marker to that tank. And then it's firing its rocket into the command tank at the front. Again, needs a two. And I failed again. <laughs> Doing very well, so a large blast marker on that unit, and that will be the end of the action phase. So we're now going to be going into the damage phase, and I have to do the damage on that first. Right, so these guys I need to save. So the large blast I need a d6 against, the small blast I need a d12 against, and it's a five up to save. So I don't, I save one of a large, so I suffer three damage points on him, and he will then suffer three wounds. But then I've also got to take a morale with four dice. So it's d6, that's a one plus four. I think I'm okay. Right, so it's a five up save on wave serpents, and I've only got two wounds. So this tank, two dice, needing fives. I didn't save, it's dead. This tank needing fives. I didn't save. That tank's dead. So those two tanks have gone. We rolled to get, see the guys getting out. We were no blast markers put down. So these guys, this is guy, he's got two large and one small. So it's going to be basically two saves on D6s needing six and one save on a D12. No. Nothing. How many wounds has that got, sir? Two. So that will die, and what's inside? Uh, some Bulgrins with Mauls and Yarrick. Yarrick, right, okay. So roll to see what happens to Yarrick. He's good, and Bulgrins, they're also good. So you dismount, and then you take the vehicle off. So moving up, this tank's taken a large blast. I think Lehman Russ, I'm not sure, I think that might be either a six, five or a six to save. Two seconds. So it's a six to save, it's a large blast, so it's just a D6. No. no, so that takes a wound. How many wounds does Lehman's tanks have? Two, Two, I think. So that would cripple the tank. He's going to be minus in one to hit with that vehicle. And then the command vehicle next to it suffered two large, sir. Okay. So two large. Two wounds. That's going to kill the commander. Yep. Yeah. So he's gone, and then one small blast on the tank next to him. We'll figure out who's in charge of this uh, detachment in a moment. But that's, yep, so that bounces off, so that doesn't do any damage. So that's damaged, and he's got to pick another tank to be the commander of this detachment. Right, so... Moving along now, she should do it one backwards and forwards, but it's just easier doing it this way. Right, so these guys have suffered too large. It tends to save, they're not in cover. They're going to just fail, so they're dead. Too large on the unit of five here. They need sixes to save. I got one six. Oh, and it's a one. So they suffer a wound, and they've only got one wound anyway. So they'll die, and they die as well. Right, so they're dead. Granger's now got one large blast on this unit. Now, normally... He'd need a 10, which you can't save, but because he's in a building, it's a six up. So he's got saving a six, yep. No, well, so he takes a wound on that squad, which will cripple it, because they've only got two wounds on the actual unit itself. So at the end of that, it's four units down for the Eldar, two units down for the guard. So Grange wins a victory point at the end of that game turn. And then we reset, so we draw more cards, uh, place more action orders, and then go again. So the orders have been placed, we've got our cards. I We rolled the initiative and I managed to actually get the initiative this time. So I'm going to action this unit here. They've got a standard move. And we're going to be going into some Ogrins, I think. Moved up. Those guys have got out. Tanks moved round. These guys have managed to get into combat. So, we're going to go with the Banshees first. They have four attacks. They need threes. I think I might... Well, 
I was going to say, I think if I'm within six inches of Jane's are, I'll re-roll ones, but I don't need it. I've got four hits, so they need fives against infantry to cause wounds. So that would be that many, so that will be a large and a small blast against the Ogrins. And then I've got Jane Zar to go. Jane Zar attacking now. She's only got one attack, but she needs twos. She doesn't do it. Has she got Howling Banshee? No, she hasn't. So she doesn't re-roll her own to hits. Right then, Karandras next. <laughs> so, now he's got two melee weapons. So you do fight with all your melee weapons. So he's got two melee weapons. So he's got Scorpion's Bite and he's got Scorpion's Claw. And... You're not in a defensible structure, so I don't plus one, and you just re-roll. You're death by a thousand stings. So each attack made on by that target's a light unit, make two attacks instead of one. So with each of his melee weapons, Karandras is a hell of a lot better than Jane's are. <laughs> so two attacks with his scorpion bite. Uh, two hits, and he needs sixes. So it causes a large blast. Two attacks with his scorpion claw. He needs twos, and he needs fives. So he manages to put another two large blast markers on the Ogwin squad. And then he's got his he's got his scorpions to go with yet. The scorpions have got Mandy Blasters first, which is one attack. That's hit, it needs a seven. It does a wound, so that would turn that would basically mean that, that unit's got four large blasts on it for the time being. And then Scorpion Chainsaws are three attacks. Nearly threes, re-rolling ones for Crandras. Two hits, and they need sevens to damage. Doing incredibly well there. So basically, they've got four large and one small blast. So these guys are opening fire now onto this Chimera here. They're within 12, it's two shots apiece. They need threes to hit, only one hit. But it is a free up to damage, and I get to reroll the ones. So it's damaged, so a light marker on there. My Falcon's opening up now. Now it's going to fire its twin shuriken catapult at Yarrick, because he's not in combat. And then the uh, the pulse laser and the other one are going to go against the damaged Kai of uh, the damaged Chimera. So it's two shots with the twin shuriken. Maybe threes. So it would have been fives actually. Both were all the ones. That that's nothing. Uh, two shots with the bright lance. So pulse laser. Two hits. Needing fives. Ah, oh, two threes. I'm going to discard. I do have a card in here that allows me to. Field craft, so I'm going to discard that to re-roll one of these. And it got worse! <laughs> How can it get worse on a D12? Damn you! And then the star cannon. It misses. Oh, he did absolutely terrible. Put a hell of a lot of damage on those guys, but I've not done anything apart from that little damage on there. Right and Grange, it's going to be one of your detachments now. Right, set overwatch has been done on this unit, so he's actually changing the order of the unit. Hmm, hang on. Do I have a card to try and counter that? Let's have so Grange has done that. I'm going to play Enemy Voxnet Subverted and force him to change the order. <laughs> so it's probably going to go back <laughs> to what it was before. Which does help me a little bit because it means he's not going to get the plus ones. Right. So then, sir, are you moving? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to open fire. He right. might have a couple more cards to play. He's looking through his hand. It's something you know, like Hutchins. He's played Orbital Strike and he's also played Rolling Bombardment. This is not going to end well for me, I don't think. So, if we want to come round here, then, sir, he's measured. All these, all mine are in, and his Ogrins are in, but it doesn't really matter. Like he says, I think his Ogrins are probably going to die. Um, so, do you want to do it against your Ogrins first? Yep. Six. Six. No, nope. no, nope, they're fine. <laughs> so they're fine. Uh, so we'll go down. So these guys. Yep. So it's one light, isn't it? It's just one blast. Yes. I must get a load uh, of blasts. Subtract one, so on a seven nope. to ten. So not subtracting one because he's not. They're just ah, light right. infantry. It's like characters that you do. And then if it's an eleven, uh, it's two blasts. It's a large blast. Radio. So they're not. I mean, ooh, they could die out of that one. Scorpions. 12. That's a large blast. Oh my god, I don't even think you need to fight back. He's a minus one because he's a light character. Six. six. Minus one is five, so she's, he's missed. Jane's up. Five. She's Three. missed. The Banshees. Three. No, and then the tank. Ten. The tank is hit by a ten, so that would be a small blast. And the vehicle. And that one's done. And that one's done. That was pretty good, actually, Versa. Yeah. 
Right, let's go around to that one. So the second one's impacting here. That's pretty much going to be everybody. Everybody. Right then, sir. Uh, which one unit do you want to go with first? What's that one first? That one furthest. Needs a nine regardless. So no. no. This Next one. The front. Yes. Yep, that one's got one. This one? No. No. And then the Guardians? Guy Crater? No. Nope. Scorpion? An eight. No. no. Um, minus one, so you need a ten to hit the fast here. Five, no. Five, no. And then the Dark Reapers back here. Yes. Ten, they do. I will put a small blast on that in a minute. And then the Guardians. Yes. They also get a small blast as well. Three units hit by a rolling bombardment. That's not good. So this. Right. Standard shooting, he's not moving. No. So he's just going to do some standard shots. We'll start with this one at the back. Yep. Battle cannon, las cannon, yep. plasmas. Yep. Are going into the. That one. Uh, the falcon? The falcon. Now it will be obscured from that angle because you're having to draw a line of sight across there. Uh, so it's going to be minus ones to hit then, Grange. Right, yep. So you need fives to hit. So your plasmas, are you overcharging? No. It's a natural one, by the way, not modified rolls of one to hit. So. Alright, just looking for the data sheets. You're looking for the data sheets? Yeah, because we're having to using tablets. Uh, so. So the battle cannon? Yep. It's two shots, mate, because you stood still. Oh, right. So well, because you moved less than five, didn't you? That, but that one's actually hit, because it does need five for the obscure target. What do you need to damage? That will be a six. That's yep. a nine. So that'll change him to a large blast, and then you've got the two plasmas. Two plasmas. I need fives. Fives again. One hit, and then you need a seven. You're not to overcharge it. Nope. No. So that's just a large blast on hit. Blast cannon. Hits. Oh no, five up. Oh, it's pretty much near guarantee, isn't it? Every time you fire a last cannon into a tank. Right. Next. Uh, Warlord. Warlord, yes. I'll check the rage of that demolisher. No problem. So the demolisher's opening fire. He's going to hit. The closest wave serpent, and then the last cannon is going to go against the other wave serpent. So demolish your cannon, sir. Two shots. Two shots. Oh, is it two shots? Wow. Uh, it does need a four. Might need to be using a card. Are you allowed to? Is it? I'm going to okay. check the card. So he's using brute strength. What does that allow you to do, sir? It allows me to re-roll after a hit roll. Right. Okay. So go. I'll re-roll this one. Yep. Yeah. And it does hit. Uh, what do you need with a demolisher? Six. It does, and it's a destroyer hit, so it causes two blast markers. No blast markers so far, so that's going to be a large blast on that one. Actually, no, it's already got a small blast on that, so that's going to be a large and a small. And then the last cannon against the other tank, sir. It hits, and it needs a five, not on a D6. <laughs> no, that bounces off. Right. You might be using another card to re-roll to wound here. Yeah, flanking attack, don't okay. for Talon. Talon, but yep. to, I'm using that to re-roll that. No sir. problem. D12. Yep, and it does score a hit. Punisher tank opening up next. It's going to whirl up its cannons into the guys in the crater. We're minusing one to hit. I think it's six shots, isn't it, for that? Yep, so the ammo's going to be 12. So that'll be 12 shots, needing fives. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of shots there, sir. For this game of Apocalypse, where you tend to roll one or two damage. <laughs> needing fives. That's three, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. I don't think you score that many hits when you're playing it in no. 40k. <laughs> I so actually, I six, actually need more here you go. D12s. Yeah, you need more d12s too there. What do you need for damaging? Against troops, we're looking at sevens. No radio. Oh, oh, yeah, here you go. Ooh, that, for it. that did make up for it. So that's a large that's it. and a small blast. Radio. Right. Give you one back. I'll give you more than that, actually. Yeah, you need you need about six, so yep. pass me two. Thank you, sir. There we are. So large and small. Into this particular tank. Go ahead. It misses. And, and then two the multi-melters. Multi -melters. One. That one of them does hit. I'm not sure what you need. Uh, that's going to do that it, though. Probably will do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Woo so, right. So a... plasma tank now firing into the Harlequin-looking wave serpent. It's plasmas, which is three different guns. They need, um, it normally needs fours, but it's damaged, so it needs fives because it's going through his heavy weapons. We'll so two. one hit, and then he needs a seven. No. Nothing. We're going to last cannon, sir. That also misses as well. So when you do get damaged in this, you can 
reduce it down. And then I think there's one more tank left. Is that one? There is. With yes. the heavy bolters and all sorts of other gubbins. Yeah. So the bolters going into the infantry. We are assuming you can shoot for your own detachment. I can't see why you can't. And then last cannon and battle cannons going into that tank there. So the heavy bolter surfing one shot a piece. Yep, to two shots. Uh, it is minus one, so one hit. When I mean, you need a seven, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, That'll not do it. That'll not do it. And then the battle cannon gets two shots because it stood still. One hit. Uh, yep, one hit because that's going against the tank. And that's another damage point. So that's a blast on that tank. And then you've got your last cannon as well. No. No. And then actually, do another plasma shot because we've got to fire twice with that turret weapon oh, plasma. Okay. So he needs a five. Well, he yes. does hit and he needs a seven. Yes. Yeah. So in actual fact, it will be a large blast placed on that unit because it's suffered another two ones. So I've gone with that detachment there with the farce here. I don't really have, I don't think, much cards to play. I'll we'll check in a moment now, but I don't think I do. Uh, but one of the Guardian squads is within 12 of the building, so it does get to open fire. The, there is also a um, cannon in there as well that will also get to open fire. I think I'll put the rocket launcher into that as well. And then I've got the Dark Reapers, which I'll come to next. But the Guardian squad with the Star Cannon is going to fire into the, the injured infantry squad repaired itself, didn't it? Yes, it did. So what I'll basically be doing is just putting it into one of the infantry squads in there. They're all the same because they've all got um, last cannons in. So two shots, needing fours because his camera does it obscured. That's one hit. And a shuriken catapults need sixes to hurt. So that's a 12, so that's a small blast on one of the infantry. Everything else is going to go against the same infantry there, Grinch. So, uh, what have we got? A one, so I missed with the star cannon. And then I've got a rocket launcher. That also misses on a four, because it needs uh, something better to hit. And then I've got the dark reapers. Reapers are also going to open fire. They're going to open fire against these infantry in the open. These one of these rocket launcher teams because I'm in range. I need freeze to hit with inescapable death. It's always freeze to hit. <sighs> one so hit. It's still a one for him. Yep. Shut up, you. <laughs> but I need a six to do any damage. Nope. So the dart reapers did nothing. Uh, I'm starting to think that uh, Elder's not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, so that will be that detachment done because I lost the other Guardian squad and I lost the other Dark Reapers, so it will be your turn, sir. Okay. So going with these guys, I've got nothing to make them change their order, and they're going to go into the last cannons are going to go, sorry, the rockets are going to go into the tanks. So you need to hit, hit with threes because I'm not obscured. Two hits, I don't know what they need, is it sevens? It is against armor sevens. So no. nothing so far. Is the second unit going to do the same? Rinse and repeat. I'm going to actually just use a card first oh, okay. for a wound re-roll. A wound re-roll then, sir? So I'm going to re-roll one of those. And still and one. Still one. Still one. Still one. See, command point so, re-rolls yeah. are exactly the same in Apocalypse <laughs> as they are in 40k. <laughs> so rinse and repeat with the other unit. Yep. That's two hits because you're hitting on threes. And that's a six and a nine. So that's going to be one small blast. I'll just put a marker here for now. Yep. Anything else firing into that? No, that's it. Right, nice. okay, so I'll put the markers on and then we'll come back for the rest. Why are they opening up now? Heavy bolt is only in range of the infantry in front. So, bolt to hit. Freeze. No. And misses. And then the wyvern. Four shots from the wyvern. Four shots. Hits three times. What does it need to damage? Uh, damaging against infantry is on a seven. Seven. So that will be two. That will be a large blast on the Reapers. That pretty much killed the last set of Reapers. It's probably going to kill this set of Reapers as well. He's going to put the mortars into the Dark Reapers as well. Uh, one shot piece. An increase. Two hits. What do you need? No idea, but we're also going to find out. I think the two and the ones are fail. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Anyway, on to the next one. Yeah. I mean, it's just a heavy bolt with a manticore because he's already fired all four missiles. So that's just going to be into the Guardian Squad. Yep, into the Guardian Squad at the front. That and misses. misses. So, yep. Yeah. Done very well with that detachment there, sir. So it's off to the elder one. Right, those guys have moved forward. So I'm going to start shooting some stuff. We've got some Dire Avengers to start with within 18 inches of the building. 
They're going to open fire upon that damaged unit. There's a unit that's already got a blast on there, isn't there? There is, there's one making these. So they're going to open fire upon that unit. And let's see what I need. Right, so it's only two shots. But I need threes to hit. Actually, no, I need fours to hit because it's a unit inside. I'm not hitting the building, I'm hitting a unit inside the building. Their count is obscured. So I need fours, re rolling ones. <laughs> two fails. Well done. Asriman, I think I'll have a fire at the same unit. He's within 18. Um, he's not got Dire Revenger on him, so he can't reroll his own ones. I've done very well there. Dire Revengers will fire into the closest Punisher. Reroll ones. Oh, wow. Burn those wow, Burn. Yeah, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Let's get on to the tanks. Starting over there with the uh, Falcon. We've got two shots into this particular, into the closest um, heavy weapon team with the rocket launchers, with the shuriken ca cannons. So that's going to need threes. Two hits. And then against infantry, this needs sixes. I've got a three and a five. I think I'll discard one of my cards to re-roll wounds. Yep. Eleven. So that will put a small blast on that unit. And then the Bright Lance is going to fire at the Wyvern. So the Pulse Laser. Two shots, need freeze. Two hits. I need fives. So that's two fives. So that will be a large blast on the Wyvern. Right, so this Wave Serpent is within 12 with its Shuriken ca uh, Catapults against that vehicle. And it's going to fire its rockets into that vehicle as well. So two shots with the Shuriken Catapult. Both hit. I need 11s. Oh, 110. That's terrible. And then we've got Twin Rocket. It's so a Twin Missile. i got one hit. This needs a 7. I think I might be able to discard another card to reroll to wound. I'll have a go. Go on. An eight. Yay. Right, so that will put a small blast on that unit to start with. Uh, that Lehman Rust Punisher. And then the other unit's going to fire everything at the Punisher as well. So a Shuriken Cannon. That misses. And then a Twin Bright Lance. That both of them hit, needing fives. Yeah, I'll put a large blast marker on the tank. And I think I've gone with all those units. That's terrible. So all the last cannons from the building are going to fire into the Cobra. I mean, he's got some small arms as well that you can actually do, but we'll work that out afterwards. Um, so, we'll, yep, the last cannons need to freeze. It's four hits. And then you need... That's three of them. So that's going to be a large and a small blast. Yeah. So Grange is now opening fire. Fire with the last cannons cause another three blasts on that. So that's going to be too large. The rapid fire las guns are now going to open fire into the guardians. That are the closest. Yeah. And he's got four shots per unit. And how many units you got in there? Five. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of dice. Yeah, I need to re-roll two of these misses. Freeze as well. Yeah. And he re-rolls two misses because he's not got enough dice. Yeah. Wow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Ten of them. So he needs ten D12s. Always. How many got six? Got six there. And then another four. But he does need eights. This is the downside to Laz guns. There's a lot of shots, but you need eights to do any damage. So two, three, four, five. five. That's still two large and one small blast. Right. So rocket launcher is going to fire into the Punisher. And then the main weapon is going to fire into uh, the, yeah, that one, the one with the plasma. So it's normally twos to hit, minus one because I'm damaged. So it freeze. That Punisher is hold down. It's the top skewered, so it's going to be fours, but I get a plus one for the order. So I need a three to hit. I hit, and with the rocket, it needs a seven. So it doesn't actually damage anything. And then I've got the D Impaler, which is two shots. Needing, yep, both hit. And then this needs freeze against the plasma, and it's a destroyer. So basically, that will be two large blasts on the um, the tank. Grange has now activated this unit. We found a little bit of a flaw. 
Whereas when you get out in a vehicle, you just dismount six inches. So unless there's something that we're missing, I'm not sure. I've read the rule several times on it, but it might be better not to, uh, to go in vehicles. <laughs> um, right, so he's putting his bullgrins with the mauls. They're actually going to strike the striking scorpions. So I need a three. So yeah, he gets an extra attack as well for um, Warhims. Uh, Warhims. So a priest be within six, and he gets to reroll his ones because the Yarrick's within six as well. Does he? Reroll ones to hit, isn't it? I believe him. Yeah. So yeah, he's hit three times. What do they need? Uh, fives for the Bulgrim Maul. Five. Ooh, that's quite devastating. So that's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a large and a small, another large and small blast on the scorpions. They're probably going to get killed this turn. And then you've got some grenade gauntlets, two squads. Yeah, so I'm going to fire both squads into yeah. the uh, fire dragons. No problem, sir. So one shot apiece, I believe. Yep, one shot each. What do they need to hit? Uh, fours. And you're within six of Yarrick? Yep. Are you all your ones? So hit, and then roll... Sevens. No. No, and then Yarrick gets to fight. What's he got, sir? Just figure that out. It's plain. Alright, so Yarrick gets one attack, but he's within six of an inch of a priest, so he gets two attacks. What does he need to hit? Twos. Twos is hit twice. What does he need to damage? Uh, against the power claw. Yep. Nine. He's a nine. It's because he's wiping out a whole squad. Ah, right. And that's what the idea is we're at. So two attacks, needing nines. No. None of them. No, um, none of them. I'm going to... Have you got some cards to re-roll? Yes. Right here, over, sir. i try and re-roll one of those. And the wounding cards. That's a discard. No. No. No, no, no. Right. Um, not a problem. Just the chimeras to shoot now. Just the chimeras to shoot now. I'll see what they can see. Yeah. Right, so lads going to raise from the tanks are going to go into these guys. And then the, is it the multi laser and heavy bolters are going to go into the guardians? Uh, yes. The, sorry, the dire avengers are right here. Right, so lads going to raise first then. Four shots. Needing fours, so one hit. And then the lads going to raise needs an eight. Nope. Nope. Then you've got your heavy bolters, so three heavy bolter shots, needing uh, fours again. Two hits, you need seven ones. Yep, that's definitely a large blast upon the Dire Avengers. And then you need... Multi-laser. Multi-laser. One shot. Yep. Misses. Misses. Yeah. Alright, so we'll put a large blast down there. So we've got to the end phase, there's a hell of a lot of damage to do. So, there's two large blast markers on the Cobra. I played Armour of Contempt, which basically means that I get to roll D12s regardless of blast marker size. So, we need fives. One's gone through. And then I've got my morale to take, which is Leadership 7. It's got two blasts on it. So I'm fine. So in actual fact, he's down to one wound remaining. So, oh. So that were, that were a good choice there, good choice. Right, we're going to go this way. So, fire dragons. I have no idea what they need to save. I really wish I could grab everything and find out. Oh dear. Right, so they've got one large blast on them. It's one heavy and they need a six to save. No, so they will die. I'll put them to one side for now. The scorpions, I'm guessing they're probably the same, but it's too large and one small on the scorpions. Oh, well, even if it is anything like that, it's going to be a nothing. So they're just going to go pop, they've gone. Right. So the bullgrins. What do they need to save, sir? Uh, Four on D6 and one. Yeah. Yeah, they're What do you need? A better than that. <laughs> so, Falcon next. I know the Falcon saves are a six, so I've got one on a D6, one on a D12. There's a large and a small blast. I think I failed both. So that Falcon is gone. Does it blow up? They don't. Only the things that blow up in this one range are super heavy. So. This guy, D12. A six, we'll need to check that. Next one, because we're just going across the board, it's just easier. We've got a wave serpent, he's got one large, one small blast. Needing fives to save. God damn you! 
Wave Serpent's gone as well. It's not a command, that's token is wrong. Right, uh, that Wave Serpent's also the same. It's got one large and one small blast. Saving on fives. God damn you! <laughs> so that Wave Serpent's gone as well. Actually, no, sorry, that was too large, but it doesn't matter. I failed them both anyway. Right then, sir. So, uh, right, two D6 saves on that one. The damaged uh, Lehman Russ. No, nope, that's gone, because it's only got one wound left. And then you've got a large blast on the other Lehman Russ. So, one dice. Doesn't save, takes a wound. Leadership is five, isn't it? Yes. So D6 plus, plus one. So you're fine. So that just takes the damage point. And that's it. And I'll take that blast marker off in a moment. Now, there's a large blast. Actually, apologies, mate. It's a large, it's a D12 as well. Because it's a large and a small. A 10, and you're fine. Right. And now my... Die Revengers, I've got a large blast on them. They are once per turn allowed to take one save on a D12 rather than a D6. So that's what they'll do at the moment. I think I need an eight. I think they've been wounded. I'll check. My Guardian units there has taken a large and a small. I need a 10. A 10! So that unit is just critically wounded. So I've come to the other side of the board. We've got a Dark Reaper unit on a D6 and a D10. These guys need six. Oh, they're gone. Well gone. Uh, I'm not sure what the Farseer has got, but I'll roll that. I've got a two, so I'm guessing the Farseer is probably dead. And then this unit here has taken two large and one small. I can't save the large ones, so that will be that unit dead as well. So the Elder coming down this flank has completely disintegrated. <laughs> All the tanks have completely been blown up. that have gone down there. Um, I've not managed to chew through enough Lehman Russes, I don't think. We've rolled for the squad in here. They've suffered a wound. It does critically wound them as well because they've only got two. But then we've got this 1d10 on a heavy weapon team. The six, no, so they go, they've been destroyed. And he still has another heavy weapon team. The white, oh, there's a d, Two. there's a d6 as well, is it one? One. So it's a d6 on the Wyvern. Nope. No, what's its leadership? Uh, hang on. Right, so. At the end of turn two, it's not looking good for the Eldar at all. I'm I'm very, very limited <laughs> on what I've got left. And we've got Yarak in combat with the Banshees. But we've got two Phoenix Lords, which I'll be honest with you, are not that cracking. Normally you'd fear the Phoenix Lords, but not that great. And then you've got two damage squads. You've got Guardians and Dire Avengers, another unit of Guardians and Dire Avengers that are all right. Azraman's okay. That tank's all right. The Scorpion, sorry, the Cobra is uh, it's on one wound left. So, at the end of this turn, that's pretty much, I think, going to go. I've got no more Psychers on the field, so I can't use any Psychic powers if I draw them. And I've still got another four Lehman Russes to go through, and they started out with six. I've only killed two Lehman Russ battle tanks. Uh, which is very poor. I should have killed a lot more. I've not been able to hit or wound with a lot of stuff. Right then, sir. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go into turn three. It's probably going to be the last turn of the game because if he scores more unit deaths than I do, then I, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so let's roll to see who gets on the, first. On the upside front, I haven't got a lot of units left to kill you, so there's a chance. Well, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got an eight. Range got a two, so I will be going with one of my units first, which is the only saving grace I've got. Right, so orders have been placed down. I'm going to go with Azraman and his uh, units first. And uh, they are just going to basically move and shoot. So Azraman and the other units have moved up. All the Banshees are now going to be in range of the building, because it's 18 inches. So they're going to open fire. I've got, the first one's going to be the five-man team. That needs a free force to hit because you're in cover. Yep, that's hit. And I can't remember what I need, but I'm going to roll that. And that's a wound, so that'll be a small blast on the wounded unit. We'll move some of them things over there. And then the damaged squad 
which is uh, only supposed to have half the men left. That's uh, only got one shot again, needing a four. Nope. And then Azraman, he needs a three. Nope. <laughs> and then the other Dire Avenger unit that's actually not damaged and is close. Gets to reroll the ones. So only one. And I'm going to check that. It's going to be on the same units, it turns it into a large blast marker. The Falcon now is going to open fire with its pulse laser into, again, the uh, Wyvern. And then the two Shuriken cannons are going to go into the other heavy weapon team. So two Shuriken cannons, two hits. That's definitely a large blast marker. So they're going to be, unless he runs a minute to rain, they're just going to be dead. Uh, but you just put the large blast on. And then the two shots from the pulse laser. One hit, needs a five, yep, and a six, so it's wounded, small blast, on the wyvern. Got to try and kill that by the end of his turn, but it's still going to be able to shoot everything, that's the thing. Uh, that's that for that detachment, so it's over to Grange. Right, this unit's going to open up now, it's got the fire, sustained fire uh, order. Starting off with the Punisher, Punisher is going to fire its Punisher cannon into the Dire Avengers. It's minus one, plus one, because of course it's plus one, minus one for the damage. He scores. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. Again, he needs to borrow more D12s. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. What do you need? Uh, we'll put that in a second. Spence is killing us on this one here. Sixes. No, sevens. Sevens. Seven. So one, two. That's a large. That's a large. That's a large. Three large blasts and the Die Revengers. Two melters then. Two of them. Needing fours against the Guardians. One hit. And I think it's a ten or something for. Uh... No, that's definitely going to be a failure with the multi melters against. I think I'm going to last cannon against the Cobra. It's a miss because it's plus um, one minus one. Uh, Does it? Has he got anything to re-roll no. to hit? No, 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 no. Hits. not to hit. Okay. Right. So the last cannon did fail to hit. He did actually have a re-roll and still failed. Next, Lehman Russ, sir. Uh, that one. Yep. He's going to fire everything that is in range into the Cobra. Heavy. Yep. And the plasma switch, I think, won't be. We're going to go into the Guardian squad. No problem, sir. Are you overcharging the uh, plasma? No. No. <laughs> so do the battle cannon first. Yep, two shots. No. Nope. Missed both times. Excellent work. Last cannon. Yeah. yeah. Again. Uh, right then. Again. Just gonna take this. Is this window open? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> two plasmas then, sir. But one hit, and you need a seven. And a six. Yeah. So far, Grange is having the same type of turn as I've had. Um, you've got that Lehman Russ. I don't think I can see anything now. Yeah, probably not since I've moved. Yeah. And then this guy here. Right, so we just checked. That Lehman Russ can't see anything, which is a bit of a shame for him. This Demolisher can see that uh, squad there. So he's going to be firing the Demolisher cannon. It's two shots. He's going to need freeze because he's uh, sustained. Four shots. Oh yeah, two, 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 two attacks apiece. Yeah. That's quite a devastating weapon, I think. Mm. Go on then, sir. That's four hits. What do you need against the infantry? Sixes. Oh dear. And it's destroyer. So that's two large blasts. So that squad will be dead. And the last cannon, just to make sure. Hits. It needs a ten. Yay! So two large and one small. That's fired. It's going to be my turn now. Uh, still got these to go. I've got like one unit of guardians and the cobra. Right, the Cobra's moved down there. It's going to fire a rocket into that tank and it's going to fire its destroyer weapon into this uh, vehicle instead. So, it's minus one to hit with the heavy weapons. So I'm going to need a three with a rocket, a hit. I'm going to need a seven. I do, I put a small blast on the damaged Punisher. And then the Impaler, the Impaler. Two hits, needing threes. Two threes, so that's two large blasts on the demolisher so i'm hoping that'll take care of that one but it might not do they do have a six up save don't they sir mm. so they're not too bad right one of yours grange going this unit next sustained fire order all the last cannons again 
firing into that tank. <laughs> All the small arms fire because they're within 12. We're going into that unit of guardians. Lovely. Uh, sorry, Dire Avengers. Apologies. Right then, sir. Go ahead. So four of them. Yep. Just four last cannons. Oh, actually, one and of the last cannons. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's three hits, and then that one needs a four because it's damaged. And I'm going to see if I can re-roll that one. Okay. Re-rolling that. Hit roll. Yep. Oh, look. Five last cannons have hit. Needing fives. <laughs> Go away. So one large, one one small blast against that tank. Right, and then it's an immense amount of fire into these guys. Uh, what do you need to hit? These are the threes. Yeah. They all need threes because it's heavy weapons that are a minus ah, one of the guys. Right, sorry. So I'll put the as well. Come back to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, threes, mate. You need threes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't even have that many D12s. I'll be wrong. Roll set, roll two lots of seven. That might be the best way to do it. The right. first lot of seven. Eights of these guys. Eights, yeah. You've got two, two, so that's one large blast. And then the second lot of seven. There's another two, yeah. so two large blasts on them. This one is going to be these guys. Jane Zar is going to move into the priest, because that'll be amusing. And then Karandras is going to go into one of those units there. They've just got a standard move. And then I'll play a card. That's Court of the Young King. So the Banshees, again, which will be attacking told uh, Commissar Yarrick, Roll to hit and to wound. That's not too bad. Alright, so the Banshee's needing threes, re-rolling everything. Yeah, yeah. That is a good job. So we've got ones and twos across the board. So I got... Can I have one of the D12s, please, sir? No. <laughs> so three of them. Needing fives. And I get a re-roll. So that, will, that was actually... And yeah. 11. So that's going to be a small and large blast from Commissar Yarrick. Right, Jane Zar then. She's attacking the priest. She needs twos to hit. Yep. And to hurt him, she needs a, seven, uh, a six. Yep, so a small blast on the priest. And then Karandras, I believe he doubles his attacks. So he's got one attack with two different weapons, but he doubles it when he's versing... Um, units that are light. So Scorpion's Bite is one hit and that needs a six, which it doesn't do. And then the Scorpion's Claw, two hits and that needs fives. So that's one small blast against, against the uh, Ogwins. There we go. So a double action here from Granger's a counter punch. That Chimera has gone all the way around. Right, um, so who you want to go with first then, sir? Uh, do the Bulgrins that have gone into the... Karandras? Uh, yeah, go, do those first. Okay, Bulgrins into Karandras first. So that'll be two attacks. Plus one for a priest. Plus one for the priest. Yeah, so three attacks. What do you need, freeze? Threes. That's two hits. And then... Bulgrin shield at uh, 1 eight. Alright, okay. Nothing. Oh, nothing. No, not that cracking, I suppose. But yeah, do second lot of Bulgrins then. They've got three attacks, but we do need fours against the Banshees. Yep. Uh, one. Are they within range of Yarrick? Yes, they are. So we get two, an extra two. So, yep, roll. So two hits. And then you. Uh, yep. Oh, that's a small blast on those. Now the Chimeras get one attack apiece, so Chimera against the uh, Banshees, needing a six. Six is always hit. No, nope. and then the Chimeras against Jane Zar. Nope. No. Now you've got two priests. I have no idea what they do. So the priest against Karandras first. He's actually got one attack plus one attack for himself, because mm -hmm. you've got the right keywords, whereas I don't. Uh, what do you need to hit? Uh, not that, not that. <laughs> You get to reroll your ones, you're within six of Yarrick. Still no. Nope. And then against Jane Zai, it's a minus one to hit against Jane Zai. So be fives. Two hits Two against hits. Jane Zai. <laughs> what do you need? Tens. All right. Okay. Oh, no what? Twelve. One small blast against Jane Zai. And then you've got Yarrick to fight against the Banshees. Right. And Yarrick. he's got a minus one to hit. I did forget that last time. 
So two attacks from Yarrick, including the priest. And what does he need? Twos normally, so freeze. Two hits. What does he need to hurt? Nines. Nines. Large blast marker on the banshee. I thought they might have got away with that then, but never mind. Uh, I, I think, think I've only got one unit left to go with myself. Yep. I've got a double action, they've moved up behind that falcon to within 12 of the building. They've, only, they've been crippled, so they've only got one attack. They hit. I'm not sure what I need. But that's going to do it. I've also played Soul Wind on them, so it counts their attack as two. So it actually puts another large blast mark on a different unit, because one of the units is already in there, it's been hit up. It doesn't really matter which one. And then that, I think, will be it for my turn. I mean, it's just going to be these guys, isn't it, sir? It is. Oh, dear. Right, ladies and gentlemen, before he fires with his unit here, which is on sustain, he's going to go laser burn. And I'm guessing he's going across that squad. Yeah, that I'm squad. Do, um, there. Yeah, yep. right, okay, so he needs a seven to hurt, minus one for the light character, so a seven to hurt the infantry. So we'll start with the uh, yep. Avengers. Eight. Oh, man, I think they're definitely dead now. Uh, then Aziman. Yep. Five, nope. no. And then the tank. Then the tank. Eleven. Yep. That yeah, that suffers a single hit. And then you get to fire, sir. You get to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to fire. Overlapping fields of fire. All right, okay. And I'm going to put it onto the tank. And what does that do? Uh, I, it allows me to re-roll hit rolls. Okay, mate. So, so I'm going to start here. It, yep. I'm going to fire the machine, uh, rocket launchers. Yeah, needing uh, freeze. freeze with re-rolls. All hit. You need sevens to hurt. Let's see if we've got anything re-rollable. Yeah, I'm going to say at the moment it's going to cause one small blast, so it'll be one large blast on that Falcon. Ah, they're all hit rolls, not wound rolls. Right, so it'll be one large blast on the Falcon so far then. That's any to exchange. Um, mortars. Uh, the mortars. I'm going to fire into the uninjured. Die Revengers. Die Revengers. Oh, yeah, okay. Three shots. Needing freeze. Two hits. Two hits. I don't know what mortars need. Is it sixes or something? Or? Uh, we'll find that out again. <laughs> Just roll D12s and then we'll have a look. If you get high enough, it don't matter, does it? Uh, we might need to look out. Heavy bolt from the Rantic Course firing into the Dire Avengers. One shot. Uh, it does hit because he's not damaged. And no, it needs a seven. Right. Seven and nine for that one. He's looking for more re rolls. I'm no, sure. No, he's... no, no, it's uh, this one here. Hunter Killer Missile. Oh, HKM. HKMs. Um, so, given that the Wyvern's now fired, you're yep. going to fire an HKM yep. at the Falcon. Okay, no problem. Wyvern not fired yet, by the way. It's the uh, Manticore. That's no, right. Manticore, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, he's going to fire um, an HKM. What do you do? Uh, basically, roll a dice. Yep. I've uh, got to get greater than my ballistic skull. Okay. And place one blast marker next to that enemy unit. If it's a heavy or a super heavy, place a two blast markers. All right, so it's basically going to be uh, if you hit, you're going to be placing a large blast. Mm. If I hit. Yep. I hit. And he does. So against the Falcon, that's going to be two large blasts. That's ready for the replacement over there. And then you've got the Wyvern itself. Right. Now the Wyvern is damaged, so he's now going to be hitting on a minus one. So he's actually going to be hitting with the order, he's going to be hitting on fours. I'm putting everything into your injured, uninjured. Uninjured Dire Avengers. Dire Avengers. So the heavy bolter. Yep. Hits. hits. Yep, that's a small, well, they're already on a small blast, so um, that will be a large blast. Is it, yeah, yeah oh, it's that's there, down there at the moment, I'm not going to move across. I just need to check the uh, Storm Shard, it's four shots. Yep, so roll to hit, needing fours, so three hits. Uh, I think that's definitely going to be two, I'm not sure about six. Sorry. So I've put the markers down, that's it. Uh, now we're going to be going to, um, yeah. Then we're going to damage phase. I don't think I'm going to survive any of this, but there we go. So first off, we've got a unit of Ogrins with one blast on them. Um, uh, so it's a small blast. They need a D12, sir. Six, no. No, so I think, I don't know how many wounds they have, so we need two. to check that. They have two. So they're critically damaged. And we'll get some damage counters out in a moment. Um, 
Thank you, sir. And then it's Jane Zar. She's a one blast marker. And I think that's a fail from Jane Zar. I think she's dead. Right, so the priest has been hurt. He's got a save of an eight, and it's on a small blast. No. No. He's only got one wound, I'm guessing. Yeah. So the priest goes. So Jane Zar and the priest have gone. And then we've got. Uh, I'll do the save because they've got a save of eight. And they've got a large and a small blast. So I can only save against a small blast. Need an eight. No. So the banshees have also been murderized. And they've got. Yarrick only has a save of a seven. So Yarrick goes. That's. Uh, he's gone down. But it does mean we've got lots of Ogwins and Crandras in the middle of it. Right. So <laughs> moving along, we've got a Lehman Rust battle tank with two large blasts. It's going to need two saves of sixes. No. No. So that tank has gone. Leadership for the detachment doesn't really matter. It could pass on yeah, to him or him. To on to the green one. So that goes. Take that order off. And the other tank suffered one small blast. So he saves on a six up on a D12. Oh, just. 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 It's a bit of a shame I wanted him to die. I thought uh, I might be able to get some more for him. Right, so this is where it gets a bit weird for the Elder. So, the Dire Avengers, I've got two large blasts. I can save one of them because I need an eight and I'm within six inch of Aswoman, so I need a seven. Yes, so they suffer one wound, so they're still alive. Um, crushing my own models. Even if I save 2d12s out of that, there's still going to be at least yeah. two wounds I can't yeah. save. So the second unit's dead, and that unit's only got one wound. So that unit's also dead. So the other two Dire Avenger squads have gone. The tank needs sixes, and it's got two large blasts. Nothing. So the tank has gone, and the Guardians have got that many blasts on them. It doesn't really matter. They're just going to get killed, and they've gone. So pretty much down here, all I've got left is Azraman and one badly damaged unit. Here, how many blasts do I have on this? One large and one small? One last, mate. Yeah, one large and one small, mate. Fives or more? No, that tank also goes. Does he blow up? No, he doesn't. He needs a ten or more. So that tank is also gone. So pretty much the only thing left on the battlefield for me is going to be Azraman. A unit of Dire Avengers badly hurt. Grandras. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even going to ask because I know that that unit's dead, yeah. regardless. Uh, the Wyvern needs to take a save on a D. Yeah. So the Wyvern will be dead. I'm not sure about the units inside. Uh, there's two with large blasts. So it'll be D6s needing six. Yeah. So the first one and then the second one, no. So one of the squads will be dead because it's already wounded. And then the other squad will be critically wounded as well. So I did manage, finally, to kill one infantry squad. So <laughs> that's not like a game of 40k at all. At all. And before I take any more models off, I am calling it there. That's three turns of him getting more unit deaths than me. So it'll be three victory points to Grange Zero to myself. And I've only got four units left on the battlefield. <laughs> three units left on the battlefield, actually. Um, so I've got my butt whipped. Uh, definitely think about changing how my army is set up. You really do have to think about army composition and what you're going to be doing with the force before you bring it into the field. You can't mix units. You do need to think about it, in my personal opinion. Um, it's not the... Well, I suppose it is, but it isn't. It's, it's a weird hybrid of, of odd things. And I would recommend, possibly with infantry, not bothering putting them in transports unless they're just like a shooty infantry. Um, like Dark Avengers, maybe. Sorry, Dark Reapers, maybe. The rest of it... With Eldar especially, I should have um, considered my special ability of being able to move 14 inches a turn and still fire with um, small arms fire. Just trying to get, you know, run them up and hide them. Or maybe trying to get them into and running through buildings because uh, Azraman and his units in the buildings would have been really, really good. But the deployment hammer and anvil really hampered me as well because I only had one solid building which I couldn't use and the Thunderhawker's cover running into a, f a flurry of buildings. And him being in that building has really, really helped. It's a minus one to hit, and he gets to save. Um, so that really has hurt. But I've enjoyed it. 
hope you've enjoyed it as well. Uh, so if you did, like, share, subscribe. The usual stuff for YouTube. Um, if you are interested in some commissions, the Elder Army and about 90% of the table terrain has been painted by myself. So if you are interested in any commission work, if you go to rootstem.co.uk, send me a, a request form on there, I can easily get back to you. We do have t-shirts at Teespring as well, should be a link at, on this website. If not, just type in rootstem in the search menu on Teespring. If you just wanted to grab some dodgy t-shirts. Right then guys, we'll see you next time.